Bloomberg reported that China sentenced Chinese-Canadian tycoon Xiao Jianhua to 13 years in prison and fined his Tomorrow Holdings conglomerate a record $8.1 billion after he was abducted from a hotel room in Hong Kong and taken to mainland China in 2017. According to a ruling of the Shanghai First Intermediate People's Court on August 19th, the billionaire and his company were found guilty of illegally absorbing public deposits, breach of trust, illegal use of funds, and bribery. The court also fined Xiao nearly $960,000. The statement said that the acts of Xiao and his company seriously damaged the financial management order and seriously endangered the national financial security. The court said that Xiao used his financial network to obtain nearly $46 billion from the public via selling insurance, investment products, and offering pooled funds. The outlet, citing the Huron Report of China's Richest People, reported that Xiao once had a fortune estimated at almost $6 billion and ranked 32nd on its 2016 rich list, a league table similar to the Forbes list. Xiao was one of China's wealthiest men and controlled the Tomorrow Group, a giant investment firm that owns shares in banks, insurers, and real estate companies. The court said that Xiao and his company mainly used illicit gains for acquiring financial firms, securities trading, foreign investments, and others. The financier and his firm also returned some of the illegal income through selling assets and restoring foreign funds. As reported by Bloomberg, Xiao's trial took place without consular visits from the Canadian embassy in Beijing, as the Chinese regime does not recognize dual citizenships. Wang Wimbin, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman, said, According to China's law, we do not recognize dual nationality. China tries its citizens for criminal acts according to the law, and he doesn't have the right to consular protection of other countries.